You're listening to Aligned and Unfiltered with Daniela, Demi, and Ness. We're making spirituality real, raw, and relatable. Okay, I'm kind of annoyed. <laughs> because Why? Why? I mean, I'm not editing this, but the volume was all the way down when we started that and there was no intro before my words. I didn't hear that. There was no intro before your words. Yeah, you know how there's that nice like, dee, 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 no? (laughs) 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 Hey guys. (laughs) I could could not even hide my facial expression. (laughs) I didn't expect you to at this point. (laughs) I was trying. I was not trying. It's okay. It's I fine. literally was sitting there on my emails. Like, my emails are so fucking important. Right now. <laughs> Why was I on my emails? Like, the recordings on. I'm just like, oh, this is very not Demi like. I know. I can't be fucked, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Welcome. We love to have you here, but we also cannot be fucked. <laughs> I can't be fucked for anything right now. It's not. It's not personal to the uh, podcast. Do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your finger? Oh my god! This okay. I'm my mother's daughter. Maybe this is something we need to like workshop through. Okay, is that I cannot cancel that. I often Caldi. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! I did that today. I was thinking of her. She's oh, that's so genius. I'm running around the house screaming, "Cancel that!" So often. <laughs> anyway, point of story is. I <laughs> yeah, always seem to burn story. myself. Wait, cancel that. <laughs> I burn myself often, right? Yeah. And this is a recent burn on my finger from when I was trying to get. Why can't I see anything? There. It's, oh, it's ouch. a bit of an awkward. We have yeah. matching burn marks. I've got it in the exact same place. Amazing. I've got calendula balm if you want. That's okay. Oh my God. Oh. Same. First off, why didn't I think to put, that's like my Windex. Why didn't I put it on it straight away? it's fine it's fine it's fine anyway what were we talking about demi's in la la land i literally have the microphone sitting on my lap so i don't have to move lean forward (laughs) i'm bleeding again surprise surprise (laughs) i am not ness is rearing and ready to go so i think she's gonna take the lead i need to take a photo of demi right now she's half covering her face (laughs) don't move your hand because we don't need any like we don't need any conspiracies no move it away oh (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> They're a part of the <laughs> she had she was just like rubbing her eye and she had one one hand over an eye and i'm like no 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 no, no. we're not filming <laughs> we're, we're, we're not doing that we're not doing that <laughs> so okay we have no plan we have no plan or pla <laughs> what <laughs> I don't even have a plot. Oh. <laughs> is that for friends it's or from office? Friends. Oh, it's from I was friends. Like, I know, I know that line, but I can't remember where it's from. We're going uh. to let ourselves free flow. I think. Yeah, let's just get into it. All right, <laughs> get into what? There's no plan. <laughs> There is always a plan. There okay. is always okay. a greater plan, even when we feel like we don't have one, and that's because. The universe has a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to leave Ness in charge today. Right. Oh, fuck. oh, we're words in for a wild ride. <laughs> words that have Strap never been in. spoken. <laughs> All right. All right. Give me a second. We're going to just breathe together for a second and we're going to see where this takes us. Do you want some calming music? Because one of these buttons do Do that. we have like some house music? <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Things that have come up lately. Things that have been coming up lately, everybody is feeling extremely chaotic and I feel like this episode will be released at a time when things are still very chaotic because we will be in the new astrological year. This will be coming out just after um, New Year. Yay. Mm. Which will be fun. Um, But, 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 it feels like everybody is just kind of scrambling around. Mm. I don't know if you guys have felt that lately. Oh my God, Um, yeah. Like in a place where we're trying to clutch at literally anything that we can because we're sitting in that, what the fuck's going on? What the fuck's going on? I have to do something because like, it just feels like if I don't do something right now, everything's going to go to shit. Mm. Mm. And then at the same time, we also have that awareness that we need to just slow down and rest, but it feels like we just can't do that. Does that make sense? You're speaking to my soul right now. Yeah. 
that mm. like I, I can see that that's what we've been collectively tapping into and something that's really interesting for me is and this is not ego speaking this is like I've really really noticed this pattern but I feel like I'm a little bit ahead of the curve <laughs> ahead of the curve when it comes to these waves that we move through it's almost like I get a glimpse into what the collective is about to experience before they experience it almost so I can kind of support people through that phase mm. that's cool that is cool and it's happened like literally every single time there's this peak or there's this wave or whatever's going on I feel like absolute fucking shit. And I'm like, what, like what's going on? Why am I crying for absolutely no reason? Are these those days that you disappear? Yeah, these like, are the, the this is when I go so into hyper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and everybody knows this by now. Like I will literally go balls deep into like hibernation mode. You won't mm. hear from me. I will no longer exist. I detach from the entire world because I just cannot. Yeah. And when I come out of it, I'm like, okay, cool. Like whatever that was, I know people are going to be moving through this now. And every single time, as soon as I come out of that, people start to feel the same way. And they're Mm kind of like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So I'm like, cool. Like just went through this. Here's what we have to do. Tune into yourself, feel what you need to feel, move through it. Same thing every single time. But, but this is something else that I want to add. A lot of the time, people will try to find an external source to blame their frustrations and their tensions on. Mm. I'll get so many DMs saying, hey, what's up with this energy at the moment? Why can't I do A, B and C? What's wrong with me? I'm feeling so triggered. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling this. How dare the energy? (laughs) (laughs) Which is like 100% the energy that's surrounding the collective does come come into play with that. But also, how are you holding yourself accountable for how you're moving through Mm. it? That's a really big one as well. Yeah. Because majority of the time... Are you okay? I'm so tired. It must be the energy. It's the energy. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with me. Because a lot of the time... Or your cycle. No, yeah. not at all. Not at all. Um, no, a lot of the time we won't really want to kind of face what's within. Mm. Yeah. And we'll look for reasons without like... I don't, what's the opposite of within, but not without? Do you know what I mean? Externally. Externally. No, I like I like saying within and without, even though without also means you're without. Like, Well, you are without if you're not within. No, no, no. But like without as in like looking outwardly. Externally, uh, like externally you just said. Externally is, is, the good, is a good fit. Is a good fit, but also yeah. I don't like it. Okay. Because well, I like saying without. But when I say without, it's not like you're without something. When I say without, I mean like yeah, you're just things that are it. outside of you. Cool. Do you know what I mean? That hurt my brain, but I do understand. <laughs> <laughs> Look within, not without. Do you know? Yes. Just like, <laughs> like I, I just, it's easy. Like it's flowy for me. Okay. Yeah, stick That's, with it. People know what we're talking about. You know about. what? I, yeah. yeah. The, everyone's just followed along with that exact, you've just spoken. We've followed along with your train of thought. Now we know Nessa's individual interpretation of without. <laughs> <laughs> and if I want to say without, I'll say lacking. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay. It does that fit makes though. sense. Externally. Mm, okay, let's move on. Continue. I'm done. Oh, <laughs> what do you mean? This is really you, good. I, I actually was just thinking before when you when you um, were talking about everyone scrambling, needing to do things, but needing, is that what you said? Like, yeah. It, as Doesn't that tell you where we are as a society that we don't know, even know how to fucking rest? But this is the thing, right? This is where the awareness has completely changed. Mm. Like everything has shifted because if you would have looked at us as a collective, even last, I'm going to say, can I say the C word on here? This isn't censored, Which right? One? No, I always click the button that's like this. C, I swear. The, like, oh. Oh, COVID. I thought you were about to say oh, like I don't know. CRMT. I was going to say COVID. Oh, like, no, I was going to say COVID, but like I just don't even, I, no, 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 because like. I don't, I don't fucking trust no one, you know, any online platforms. I don't trust them because I'm like, are you going to censor me for saying this word? Anyway, I'm going to say pre-COVID was what I was going to say. 
fuck it. But I'm like, say whatever still, you want. I'm still so traumatized by the way that I've been blocked on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm like, I want to be careful, Let guys. Let's hope so Anchor true. isn't a savage. <laughs> don't you think that's the most dramatic thing? Oh my God. Seriously. I don't think this is that savage. I think no. there's more freedom in no, 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 speech. But, no, but this, like, this wasn't even a bad thing that I was going to say. Okay, go for it. But I was like, is, are they going to censor my use of the word COVID? Anyway, if you look at us as a society pre-COVID, People weren't even aware that they needed to rest. Yeah, one hundred percent. They weren't even aware that we needed to rest. It was kind of like wake up, do the do your thing. It's the daily grind and the hustle yep. and the like cash money, baby. Like you know what I mean. The, the typical that was very much idolized. Like we need mm. to be working and we need to be hustling and we're, we're the society where we yeah. we can have it all mm. because we're pushing ourselves to have it all. You got the gym, you got the going out with the friends, the social life, the the relationship, the work, whatever. Yeah. But now we've totally shifted into this awareness of actually, no, we do need to slow down and rest. And even if we're not there to the point we're actually doing it, Mm. we're at least aware that it needs to be done. I think it really put things into perspective. Oh, What's important in my life? What do I actually want? What actually makes me happy? What do I actually value? These are questions that weren't being asked as much before because it was like, I'm, you know, the hamster wheel. Yeah. Mm. When you're running that fast, you aren't able to see what's flying by. Yeah. But this is the thing where it comes to the awakening, right? Yeah. People, I know, I know a lot of people don't feel like we've made a lot of progress, but fuck me, when you look back and you actually see and realize how much we have changed as a collective, Mm. the growth has been like exponential. We've moved so far. So many people have woken up and realized like, shit like we, we actually don't live to just exist mm. Do, yeah. like so much has shifted where people are like no actually I'm stepping into my own power now I'm doing things my own way now and it's fucking powerful yeah agreed like, agreed but we still do have the masculine conditioning of okay oh. well we need to do 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 well yeah. I mean also it's because we live oh. in a masculine society we have no choice but to do we we do live in a masculine society. We do. Our days are created to fit the 24-hour cycle of a man. They're not created to fit the monthly-ish cycle, hormonal cycle of a woman. And we have been pushed and squished into this box for fucking centuries to live up to that masculine hormonal cycle, which we don't have. Yeah, but also... Do you now see that we have got the awareness around having the choice as to how to live our lives? Because so many people have stepped away from that. I hear you. In comparison, like I'm like, yes, it is true. But also, if you look at the collective and the way that we've moved, so many people no longer fit into those boxes. Oh, totally agreed. But I think that something that I've realised is – because we are surrounded by people who are having that particular way of thinking and stepping outside of that box, we forget that there are so many fucking people who are still in that same frame of mind. Yeah, but this is where the mass awakening has come in. Because like literally pre-COVID, everybody was falling into... I was guilty of that myself as well, where it was like, okay, go to work, do this, do this, do this, have to be a parent and also work hard and make money and like, what do I do? da 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 but then the next wave came through and I was like, actually, no, mm. divine feminine, stepping into that and owning what you know to be rightfully yours. I still think that I agree 100%. But I do think that there are people that are struggling with the courage to take that step. Yeah. They're oh aware. My gosh. And the awareness oh my God, is yeah. what we're talking about with that, oh, that awakening, of yeah. course. That, that perception is changing, but the courage to actually take a step away from what has been seen as the norm for so long that's where I find people are struggling oh yeah and they will struggle for a little while longer but that's where the next wave will come in Mm. where people will actually take action and this is what I've been saying this is what I've been saying when we move into the astrological new year this is when the actual changes come through especially moving into Aries season that's so action-based people are going to go no actually this is what I want this is what I'm going to take Mm. we're going to start to see that balanced return between the divine feminine and the divine masculine where it's not it's no longer going to be such a 
masculine structured world that we live in because we're creating our realities we know that we say it all the time you create the world that you want to exist in and I can see like I understand every other perspective I see from my perspective if I look at the world through my eyes without tapping into anybody else I see divine feminine like that's through my perspective if I were to shift that and see through other people's I completely see how globally we still are living in more of that masculine dominated world but it's shifting like Mm. especially post-covid it's it's that awareness has returned that's Mm. where people have woken up and then with this next wave comes through people actually taking action and the divine masculine is going to support the divine feminine yeah they go hand in hand movement that's the thing I think we need to bring ourselves back to remembering that both of them work alongside each other it's a balance Mm. they have to exist alongside each other they support one another and it gets very I'm just gonna go out and say it it gets very toxic when Mm. people focus in on one or the other yeah where it's like all divine feminine no that's toxic all divine masculine no that's it needs to be both of them supporting one another and coming in working together not one that is focused on yeah. over the other and this is this is how I always explain it to people when I'm speaking about this topic because I freaking love it there's so much power within it imagine the yin yang right mm. you've got both sides of the yin yang but each part has a little bit of each other within yeah yep it needs to exist yep. to be balanced oh and in God, harmony yeah, and in pe- yeah oh. so you've got you've got the like the black half with the little white circle inside of it then you've got the white half with the little black inside of it yeah. i always that's what i always envision when i think of divine masculine and divine feminine mm. they need to come together to create something that's so beautiful and so in balance and so peaceful mm. we can't we can't exist mm. without either yeah And I I think that there has been so much chaos because of the imbalance between the two for so many years. Yeah. Mm, I'm going to say it. Also, we need to think about the way that the media influences us Mm. to look at either side of masculine Mm, or feminine. For sure. Because well, what have you seen lately that's oh, come to mind? Well, I'm just like, okay, think about it like this, right? You go through your TikTok feed, for example, <laughs> whatever it might be, yeah. and you see guys punching on and you're like, oh, man, disgusting, right? Mm-hmm. Or then you see women that are like fighting and you know all that toxic femininity yeah. stuff that yeah. you see like the oh just a wounding the, yeah like the the females that come on and go fuck men you don't need men in your life oh, yeah. like all that yeah. stuff I, right toxic I feminism actually yeah want i like i obviously don't want to punch on with those individual people but hearing when people <laughs> are like talking about feminism in a way where they're like oh fuck men it's just like yeah. you're actually going against what yeah. you're saying yeah yeah if you're fighting for feminism you're fighting for equality right you're you can't fight for equality while f- while shitting all over men. Mm. So if you're one of these people, please check yourself, okay? That's that's my <laughs> that's Demi's my two cents. cents. Oh my god, I absolutely it gives me the absolute ick when fem quote unquote feminists can I read Nessa's mind? <laughs> Nessa's about to say that feminism is a scam. It's a scam. It's <laughs> Did a I get it scam. right? Oh my God, I was trying to hold it in. I'm looking at your face. I'm like, she's about to say it's a Look, scam. Okay, and if, if anybody wants to like have a private conversation about this, I will awaken you. <laughs> because like this gently. Was, gently, because this was something that I struggled with because it was a belief that I held for such a long time where I was like, I'm a feminist, I'm a feminist, equality for everyone, obviously. But that's that's just equality. That's just equality, though. But it doesn't need a label. But it's not. What do you mean? No, no, no but it, it is. It yeah. is. But like, what the scam version of oh, okay, feminism okay, you're is not. On feminism. Okay, go. Are <laughs> we are we going down that rabbit hole? Uh, <laughs> it's nothing bad. It's like it's just that we've been reconditioned in another way because everything is conditioning, right? We've been reconditioned once again to believe that feminism is fighting for equal rights when in actuality it's about creating that toxicity within to, to wound the divine feminine. I will leave it at that, but 
that's my personal belief. Mm. Okay. Everything, everything that we're conditioned to believe is actually a way to detach us further from what is divine. Do, mm. do you know something that's coming to mind is when we went to um, the Abraham Hicks <sighs> event, she, he, she wasn't talking specifically about feminism, but he was basically talking about if rather than focusing on what you don't want, focus on what you do want. So if you want equality, focus on equality. Don't focus on oh the protest. I've got That's this quote, what talking yeah, about. Yeah, I've got this quote memorized because nothing has inspired me more than those words. Mm. Her, his exact words were. Don't protest against something that you do not believe in or that you do not want to create more of because protesting against it will actually call more of it in. Instead, be an advocate for what you do want to see because exactly. it's that, going that to create more. Exactly. That I had that memorised. Do you, you know, know what? The photographic brain. I was like taking a photo yeah. of this because that will, that spoke to my very soul. Do you mm-hmm. know what? After that event, so we got home and I went up into – in my study, the very top of the wardrobe, I have, I think they're called cockades. No, I made that up. Anyway, the big poster boards that you take for rallies and protests and stuff oh, like yeah, that. Yeah. I have a fuck ton that I have <laughs> collected over the years from all of the protests that I've gone to, right? And I have my big like poster boards that are blank and ready to go. I'm like, I'm chucking all of this shit out. Ooh. And I literally cut it all up and I chucked it out. And just like, are you getting rid of them? You love them. I'm like, I see things differently now. Yeah, it's powerful. Don't be the voice against what you don't want to see because yes. you're creating more of that. You're driving you're driving energy towards the outcome that you don't want. Exactly right. Mm. Because we manifest both the negative and the positive. Mm. We manifest both what we do want and what we don't want solely based on what we are focusing on. So it's about then shifting your actions and your the way you think about it to mm. then serve the outcome that you want to see. Mm. Yeah. However you, that looks. Yeah, because you can still get shitty about yeah. what's going on oh, that you sure. don't like. That's but valid. it's like, well, how do you channel that in a way that is going to be like quote unquote productive Useful. and contrib- contribute to yeah. what's going to serve yeah. you and like the, and I- that community the issue in the long whatever. run. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's really – that's powerful and it's important. That honestly, and it's it's really funny because I literally, I was speaking to my cousin the other day. We do these like, if, if you're listening, I'm sorry, I haven't called you back yet. <laughs> <laughs> but we do. The, we this do. comes out in like three weeks. So if you haven't called I, by I, that I stage. I probably haven't called him back yet. I'm sorry, Daniel. Um, no, I, we have these really long talks. We have these really long discussions about what's going on in the world. And like, it's our, it's our check-in to just kind of tune into what's going on. And one of the things that came up was the thing that was just on the project, right? Which like triggered triggered oh, yeah. triggered but um we had a really good talk about that and I literally and and I know he won't mind me sharing his perspective but he was really angry and he was like how are they doing this how are people allowed to do this did it like you know our typical response to something that's so wrong I'm just gonna put it how it is and literally as he was talking it it's almost like his anger instantly healed my trigger wounds from what was said and I instantly just went be an advocate for what you do want don't protest it and I said word for word what we've just spoken about Mm. and then he was instantly like that actually makes a lot of sense yeah Mm. so because the the fallout of of all of that just created more distance between groups and communities more tension more hate yeah And it amplifies it. It's like, hold on a second. What is the bigger agenda behind all of this? There's always an agenda. Yeah. Let's hold, let's like hold the horses for a second. In saying that people still are allowed to be shitty. So it's like process how you're feeling, process your anger because that's valid. But then it's like, well, how are you going to act based on this? Yeah. Maybe a conversation should be then how do we healthily self-soothe and move through emotion as it arises within us rather than channeling it in a way which is going to have like a really 
angry knock-on effect. Yeah, and I think we need to be specific with this when we're talking about collective issues right now because obviously the way we move through things in our personal lives will be a little bit different. Yeah. Maybe on a collective scale, like with, with issues that are going on in the in the greater world and things mm-hmm. that we're seeing through media and whatever, mm-hmm. how can we channel any anger or triggers that we're experiencing within ourselves because let's let's be real we're not always gonna as much as we can detach from society we don't live under rocks we're in we're in a day and age where we're going to be exposed to things that we don't like yeah and it's going to continue to happen how do we deal with that well I think what's what's important to remember is when these things pop up because like you said they will it's offering us a moment of reflection yeah how we initially reacted what we felt what we said whatever kind of surface that then is allowing us to look at our triggers that we're experiencing within and reflecting on why it's making us feel that certain way Hmm. are you think are you processing yeah are you yeah I just I keep thinking back to like your first awakening moment when you realized everything was a lie and I think that's really important mm. to realize when things are coming up in media. Yeah. Cuz mm. it's like everything oh, is yeah, there for a you, reason. Mm. You shared that you purged after all of that as oh, well. Oh yeah, like I, the was end so of the day, really I was so sick. You were really unwell. I was so sick. Yeah. That but that wasn't me like intentionally purging. No, that was like my your body, body was so yeah, sick. Yeah, body needed to release it. Mm. Well, how let's talk about how do how what are your ways of like allowing that expression to come through or release? I dip. <laughs> I'm like I'm out. For as like soon as you said dip, I honestly <laughs> imagine like skinny dipping. That's what came to <laughs> That's mind. That's what I thought. I was like, I was where? Like, oh, no, I'm okay, like I'm out. Enough. I'm out. I'm like where? <laughs> oh my god! Hold on. No side note. Have yeah. you guys ever danced naked under a <laughs> tree? I have no. danced naked many places. I don't know what has if it under has been a under moon. a full moon, but I'm open to it. Do it, please, for anyone that's listening. Well, how do, do we it. do that in privacy, though? You fuck privacy. <laughs> if they can shove things in our faces, <laughs> you're gonna see. Uh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you know what I saw on Instagram? Oh, what's that guy that we like to follow? The one who suns himself. Or carnivore, carnivore like, Lily. That Lilius. guy. Okay, so he got a text message from his <laughs> next door neighbor, and the neighbor's like, "Dude, like we see you like sunning your butthole every morning. Can you like close the curtains?" And he's like, "Well, no. Can you just look away?" <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> actually a good point. Just yeah. don't look. Like he's in his private home. Yeah. But it's anyway, so I, I I laughed. I'm like, okay, that's that's a really interesting perspective. You guys, oh you should try God. it. It's better than coffee. And the guy said, no, thank you. Can you close your curtains? Oh my gosh, <laughs> it was great. No. No, but okay realistically when we're looking at things that are constantly triggering us firstly be aware of when you need a break because Mm. if you're finding yourself angered and triggered and you continue to scroll Mm. you're doing it to yourself you're doing it to yourself like if you feel all of those emotions and actually I think I've said this here before but something really powerful that came up on my one of my on my for you page was somebody was talking and he was really really overwhelmed and frustrated and he was saying we live in a society that has made it normal for us to experience every range of emotion underneath the sun within the space of five minutes Mm -hmm. simply through scrolling Mm. like you see a video you laugh you see a video you cry you see a video you're angry angry. you see you scroll you see another video and you're crying again and then you're laughing again like we're not actually meant to be moving through that range of emotions within such a short period of time and we wonder why so many people have mood disorders yeah and why we're so dysregulated as well fuck me this is putting me in check because i do this i'll be watching these videos say there's one that's made me laugh i send it to let's just i'm gonna use my sister gabriella because she cops all my videos (laughs) i'll send it to gabby because it's funny and then I'm going to watch a video that's going to make me outraged. I'll send it to Gabby because it's like, I'm fucking outraged. You have to watch this. We're then passing on yeah. our roller coaster of emotions to that person who's yeah. then viewing those same things and moving through those exact same feelings yeah. and emotions and the cycle continues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but that's being normalized. It is. It's it's your for you page. It's designed for you. And it's on a fu- and even just the options on social media, like the ability to share it and then see how many times that post was shared as well. Think of TikTok, how you can see that this post yeah. was shared a thousand times and it's a really like crazy outrageous post. Yeah. It's like, okay, so this was then passed on to a thousand people who are also most likely sitting in those outraged and those outraged vibrations in this moment. Oh yeah. You know, do you know how many people I've blocked on my, like how many creators I've blocked simply because they like trigger me? Mm. Jeffrey Marsh blocked. (laughs) Like I will not. Nope. Who's that? Don't. We're not going to go there. I was about to say I'll send you some stuff, but I'm actually (laughs) not because that's then doing exactly what I just said. Um, Don't worry about it. Okay. Move on. We're going to move on from him. Move on. Um, <laughs> move on. Anyway, I enjoy I actually, the bubble. To be honest, enjoy I actually the bubble. do live under a rock with so many things. Like people will like be like, oh, did you hear about the thing that like happened the other day on TikTok or like on Instagram? I'm like, no, I've got no idea. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Literally no idea. Uh, no, like me, I'm just like. I like my little world that Selena. I live in. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, is he like a Haley? A Haley? No, 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 oh. no. I'll tell you after this because we don't want to put this energy onto okay. on the air. Do you know something that you shared <laughs> with me that I really enjoyed? <laughs> on and the that line. <laughs> didn't bring any triggering thoughts, but made me feel very competitive and excited to learn. The reading The reading one? thing. Okay. I got to 10. I got to 10 too. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if this is the same video, but I saw a video where it was like, I, like they put words on the screen really fast and yes. I got through the whole video. I was yes. like, oh my God, I didn't know I could we read that. We are so from. smart. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I think it is? Not to take away from how obviously intelligent we are, yeah. but I think our brain works to fill in the blanks. So we it read, does. we read the prominent words yeah, and, and we, we can make sense of 100%. the sentence based on the, like we can put the even though we haven't read every single word yeah. our brains work to fill in the gaps it's why when there are words in between that are misspelled that it doesn't actually interfere with our Mm-mm. reading process because we've skipped those words and we put the sentence together like, anyway even when you can you know those tests i know that i used to do this with my kids but you have like the words and the first letter and the last letter are in place oh, but everything yes. in between is jumbled up but you can still you can read, still what read the word it is. yeah i fucking love that I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh, man. So if I spelt like the word chair and I spelt it C-A-H-I-R, you'd still, still read you'd chair, still read chair okay. because the first and the last letter are in place and every letter in between mm. is still there. Interesting. Our brain works. To, uh, I fucking love our yeah. brains. Anyway, thank you for sharing that content because that's, that's the shit that I that's enjoy. The, see, like that's the <laughs> stuff that I sent. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you know what I have really loved on TikTok? And I'm going to like start crying because it's just so cute. There's a... Um, Got to be dog based. Yeah, it is dog based, obviously. <laughs> um, it's called Hank the Golden. Oh my God. He's so sweet. Oh my sweet. God. I love him He's so, so much. sweet. Oh my God, FOMO, send me some okay, stuff. I, honestly, next time he comes up in my feed, which will be like, I, I'm telling you, whenever I open TikTok, he's the first person yeah. on my feed. I love him. Anytime yeah. I open TikTok, it's Hailey Bieber at the moment. No, I'm, Mine's I actually, like drugstore makeup at the moment. That's where I am. I'm going to open <laughs> my TikTok lo- right now. I'm not going to bet money on it, but I I can be – oh, it's actually not. Oh, man. Oh, that's no. Weird. Okay, second one. All right. Okay, bringing yourself back. Okay, bringing yourself back. Sorry, that's okay. my fault. <laughs> so that's so <laughs> tr- like brought us way fucking off track so with reading. So we're going into – we're going into tr- – circling back. <laughs> I've never said that on here and I'm really Still proud that back I got to what in. we were talking about. Before. I like it. Um, the triggers. Of course right? you like it. <laughs> <laughs> so efficient. Triggers. Okay, triggers. so triggers. what is our actual process? Ness, you M- my you, Oh, that's what we were talking my about. My process you is I literally go into hiding. Um, and especially do you know what? I find it and this isn't to make anyone feel shitty that's listening, so please don't. Um, but if you do, move through it. <laughs> <laughs> feel what you need but, to feel. <laughs> um, I I get a lot of people send me videos constantly on my page because I'm obviously like like discussions around what's going on in the world, and I'm quite vocal in reminding people that none of it matters mm. and to switch off from it. And I'm going to keep doing that. Where I'm like, guys, yes, it's there. Be aware of it. Cool. Allow yourself to move through it, but remember that none of this matters. Right. And when, when I have those discussions or when I share those thoughts or whatever comes up for me, people will resonate with that. But then they'll also send me a whole bunch of videos. Like, and I get it from, like, I'm talking, I've got 
hundreds of unread messages on my page at the moment of people and I can see people have sent me reels and content and videos and hey read this hey watch this I don't look at any of it like I do not I do not look at any of it because firstly time my, my time is prioritized elsewhere in doing other things and I'm still grateful that you know people think of me but also I have to honor my time and my energy and secondly, I'm not going to actively be putting myself in a position where I'm going to further trigger myself. Yeah. Like it's, 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 it would be unfair to myself to, to consume extra on top of what I'm already seeing and feeling internally. So my key is to literally detach and say, no, nah, this is my boundary. I'm not going to be consuming anymore. And I'm really, 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 I'm fucking gone at detaching from anything and everything. But um, I also am really good at reminding myself that none of it matters. Like, why does this matter to me? If this is going on in the world right now, yes, it can outrage me. Yes, it can make me angry. I can feel that. And then I can go, do you know what? This is another distraction. It does not matter. We're here for a reason. We're here to heal. We're here, we're here to grow. We're here to support one another and to really, really, really step into our authentic selves. How am I going to do that if I'm constantly distracting myself? I'm mm-hmm. not going to be able to do yeah. that. So why am I going to why am I going to deter myself? Why am I going to delay my process or my path for a few minutes of like consumption of shit that's going to make me feel a certain way? Yeah, like detach from it Mm. you can see what's going on you can feel the outrage and you can get triggered by it yes bring yourself back and remember it does not matter yeah this is whoever is creating this their intention is to trigger you and I get really cocky in the point in the sense that I'm like well why am I going to let somebody else do that to me Mm. like I, I I it's almost like I'm um fighting my own battle of like no, I'm not going to let somebody else tell me what to feel. Mm. And then I'm like, cool, because I need to be the one who wins in the end. So I'm like, like, I've won. It hasn't gotten to me and it's over. Yeah, Mm. That's my my way to do it. It works. Yeah. That's the thing is that we all have our own own way of... of Demi lives under a rock. (laughs) Yeah, I actually really do. But like if stuff does come up, like the thing that's coming up for me is like a, a particular um country that's really going through it at the moment and whenever I see things like that like it honestly it still upsets me like it thinking about it like makes my gut fucked like I just can't even but what I do is when an emotion comes up I give it an outlet so I'll cry if I need to cry I'll get angry if I need to get angry like I'll do whatever I need to do to actually get that emotion out of me so I'm yeah. not suppressing it and then basically depending on the situation, I'll usually be like, okay, we'll just reflect like what can I honestly do right now to contribute to a result that I want to see? And to be honest, like I know that this sounds like way overly simple, overly simplistic, but sometimes it's as simple as just saying a prayer. Yeah. And yeah. Like saying a prayer and like asking whichever angels to like watch over these people and, you know, just sending love. Sending love because like – Uh, like I'm one person I know that each person is powerful Mm. but I'm like realistically if I'm in Australia Mm. what can I be doing like obviously if there needs to be conversations around it and people want to talk about it and stuff like I'm happy to educate myself but beyond that consuming the news or like the like horrific content around it online like that's actually not helping me to resolve the issue no but you saying that it's simple imagine even hundreds of people doing that same thing, mm-hmm. ha- there is power in numbers mm-hmm. and you might feel like, oh, I'm just one person praying. But think about how many people are coming together and actually yep. praying. That's that's not simple. That's mm. huge. And that really, really does make a difference. Because mm. people always yeah. – I, I hear I hear like the, the wounded people right now saying, what's a prayer going to do? It, it does a, a whole lot. lot. It does a lot. Even if you don't instantly see the results, it does a lot yeah. of good. And I just heard in my mind from those that don't identify as being religious and don't see prayer as a particular form of flow, send love. Everyone can send love. Yeah. As humans, as beings, we can send love. Yeah. Mm. 
But prayer doesn't even need to be, um, I mean, I'm not going to talk, yeah, no, I'm going to say it. Prayer doesn't need to be something that's religious. I'm you don't not need religious. To, you, don't need to identify, you don't need to identify prayer as something that's religious. Mm. Prayer is spoken word with intention mm. or thought with intention that you're sending elsewhere. We do that all the time in our rituals, do we not? Yep. Yeah. If you yeah. manifest, that's what you're doing. You're sending intention elsewhere. It is a prayer, actually. Yeah. So maybe we can. Yeah. I'm thinking of rewording in my mind. I like to do that. I'm getting very distracted. That was a good episode. Mm. Where are we at? 40 minutes. 40 minutes. <laughs> what are we titling this episode? A hold whole on, hold on. I'm adding in what I do because it's oh. a bit different to oh, yeah, you. Sorry. Yeah. You both. Um, that's okay. I, I know that like everything works different for everyone. I know that that my way of doing things might not work for you. That's cool. But I've found for myself that resetting my day is my fucking go-to. If I am in that way of thought, if I am being triggered by something, if I've seen something, I've, I don't watch the news or like TV in that sense, but if something pops up and I'm like, okay, well, that's making me feel a certain way. I know for me that resetting my day is going to shift my energy. And so I literally recook myself breakfast. I don't care what fucking time of the day it is. Yeah. I start from scratch. You I, start your day again. I start my day again. I go, I wash my face. I have breakfast again. Doesn't matter what fucking time it is. And I make sure that it's going to be something that I know is going to make me feel good. So like a full on breakfast and then I'll go spend some time outside. I love that. Like my that morning, so like my morning walk. It could be fucking three in the afternoon. I actually did this last week when I was, I don't remember what happened in the morning. I've obviously cancelled it out. Like it actually doesn't matter anymore, but something had happened in the morning and I was really moving through it. And I'm like, fuck this. I'm not staying here. Like I'm not being in this today. I'm not having it. So I restarted my day, washed my face, had my breakfast. And then I went, took myself to the to Para Park and I put on a hypnosis and just allowed myself to like reset my energy, work through what had surfaced. And then I ended up launching something at the end of the day, which I think it might oh, have yeah, been the beta group. The, yeah, the the membership. Yeah, like mm. I had a download on the way home to oh, do yeah. this. And I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. fuck, that feels really good. I'm just going to do it. And the whole day flipped. Yeah. But I know it flipped because I reset my day in that way. Yeah. So I know it sounds a bit like extra, but that's what I do for me. And it always works. Always, 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 always. Well, you're interrupting the flow of like, not, I'm just going to say, you're interrupting the flow of like the shitty energy, right? Yeah. And I know I have the, because I'm literally hearing people in my head. I know I have the flexibility to, I work for myself and I work at home. So I have that flexibility, but fuck me, it works for me and I love it. Yeah. And you wouldn't even need to, like for people that are wanting to kind of, move through that themselves you wouldn't even need to go through the whole process of you know redoing the breakfast or whatever you can just pick one part of your morning routine that you do for yourself even if you do you know morning affirmations or morning mantras whatever it might be take a deep breath visualize yourself getting yourself up out of bed do your morning mantra remind yourself this is a brand new opportunity this is a brand new moment brand new day I get the chance to start wherever I want to start yeah and this is the moment that I'm choosing to start Mm. that's it yeah choose your anchor as well so it's like if you're like a coffee person or a tea person have have your your what is it I just (laughs) <laughs> Sorry. I just visualized that like you know that verse like choose your character and then like, <laughs> <people> <laughs> doing this I'm like and now I'm just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my god, god we should make that a real have fun <gasps> oh my gosh I'd be like that was like a TikTok <laughs> viral thing up. two years ago so we'd be we'd be so late on the trend <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't on TikTok that long ago. I remember that was a lockdown thing. Choose your player or it, something. Yeah, and, and it was like, like choose your version of who you are in lockdown. And it was all these you know different. How you have like PlayStation games or whatever. And oh like no, I understand the concept, but I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see that trend yeah. ever. Oh it, it was. It did was it make it to Instagram? Two or that three? One? No, I don't think it did make it People to Instagram. People would choose two or three alter egos. Where yeah, they'd like dress up as moving different through, versions. Oh my god, that's lock- really. Fun. It was really it fun. Honestly, the 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 TikTok trends in lockdown were fucking a vibe and the music was a vi- i'm telling you it's a whole genre it's a whole genre <laughs> how good right Are you showing her the i'm videos? just showing her, her that one wasn't even a funny one i love that like the fuck it we're bringing it back card 
Oh my gosh. I mean, they choose your character, but it's like the music that went along with it. Oh my God. Do you know what? For for a life, we don't know what the fuck we're going to talk about. Oh, that's it. I'm I'm doing the slow bouncing. (laughs) I feel like we need to do this. Stay tuned. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm already trying to like, I'm already trying to pick my character name. I'm taking my character way too seriously. I have to just like step back for a second. (laughs) Your character will be holding books in one hand and a tea in the other. I'm switching the tea to cacao. All right. That was, that was actually surprising. That episode. (laughs) I think it was value this field. What, this was <laughs> no, this was a really good episode, and I like rarely say that. <laughs> no. we, okay, I'm trying on. to figure out who my character would be. Oh, Demi, Demi's still there. <laughs> we have to brainstorm this. I'd, I'd probably, Bra- I'd brainstorm. probably have like mine would have um, a tinfoil hat on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh, love it. Gosh. Okay. All right. Okay. Is there any reflection questions for today? Yes. Go for it. Okay. To wrap up, take a moment to think about what you're consuming too much of and what you need to do to get yourself in a place where you can tune out and be okay with the fact that you are not in control of what's going on around you. Bye. Bye. Bye.